In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a dormer vent on your tile roof. Dormers are used to vent your attic. There are a few different options when it comes to venting. Dormer is probably one of the classics. This is an 18-inch wide dormer, and I'm gonna show you how to install it. Now, before we do, there's an important step as far as waterproofing your underlayment. You wanna make sure that your underlayment, your base layer is just as waterproof as your tile. You wanna rely really on your underlayment and use your tile as a secondary layer of waterproofing. If you're thinking like that, that will ensure that you do a solid job on both your underlayment and your tile roof. Let's get into it and let me show you how to do it correctly. The first thing we want to do is cut our underlayment open if you have not yet done so in order to install our dormer. Uh, we have this actually pre-cut so I'm just going to cut to the opening that we already have. Now if you don't have an opening, you, you can at this point cut an opening in your plywood. Now we're not ready to install the dormer just yet. The first thing we want to do is install our base flashing. Always remember, anytime you install any type of tile roof, you want to make sure that the tile underlayment is completely waterproof. That means that if water was coming down here, it would of course leak into here. Now we don't want that to happen. What we do is install what we call the dormer base flashing. What this allows us to do is flash this in, put a strip of underlayment all the way around it so that if there were any water coming from up the field and we're hitting this, it would move around the dormer move on the underlayment and off the roof. So this is a crucial part. This is something that you don't see from the bottom of the roof, but when you're installing the roof, this is a must do. The nails that we are using are just regular roofing nails. The same nails we use for flashing the shingles. They're 3 8 7 inch head with an electro galvanized finish. Now, since we're using self-adhered underlayment, we want to use the same underlayment to go around this. So what we're going to do as always, prime our metal to ensure a good adhesion, and this really helps the underlayment stick tremendously well to our flashing. We're gonna wait for it to dry, install our piece of underlayment on top of this, then we'll get ready to install the dormer. All right, now that the asphalt primer is dry, we're ready to install this layer of underlayment on top of it. Now that we've got it aligned, we can just lift up one corner. There you go. Tap it down in place and do the same thing on the top side. All right, now with this underlayment installed like this, there's absolutely no way that water getting behind here will get into our attic. That's what we definitely don't want. So we're just aligning our dormer we have a little bit of room to play here. Um, I like to go as high as possible to ensure that the tiles will cover this bottom of this dormer. And now we're ready to get installing our tiles next to it. We're not worried about flashing these because again, we've got our underlayment going underneath here. So we're not worried about water getting in here. We just want to bring our tiles as close to the dormer as possible. Leave about half inch to inch gap for drainage. All right, so we've got our first tile in place. This is one of the times that I wouldn't mind using my measuring tape, so I want to make sure that this is first off vertically aligned. And what I'm going to do is place my tile right here. Then I'm going to start taking reference measurements. So the first measurement I'm going to take is from the bottom. Now exactly, I've got nine and a quarter. What I want to do is give myself a three quarter inch gap right here. So I'm going to measure eight and a half. I'm going to transfer that eight and a half measurement onto this tile right here. Now the next measurement I want to take is going to be from the top of the tile. Since the dormer is tapered, we're going to have to cut this at an angle. So let's measure this right here. I've got 11 and 3 quarters. Again, I want to leave 3 quarters of a gap. So I'm going to measure 11 inches. So I want to cut that taper and cut this last leg straight down. Now you can see we have a beautiful three quarter inch gap right there. That's exactly what we want to see. What that does is any water that gets in here, we're going to allow it to travel down. Instead of hooking it onto our tile and having it travel in the direction that we don't want to go to, we want the water to come down. 
So again, I'll place my towel right here and measure from the dormer, deducting three quarters of an inch. So I've got nine, I want to measure eight and a quarter. Then I'm gonna measure the top, let's see what we got. We have 11 and three quarters, so I'm gonna measure 11 inches. And using my measuring tape to draw a straight line. And it's here, you wanna cut the taper down and install it on this side. Now one thing I want to note is that we're not putting any penetrations into this flashing right here. The reason for that is we've got this channel that we want the water to flow down without it going through. So we prefer not to put any nails if possible on the dormer flanges and prefer to put nails on the outside of that flange. So now that we've got both sides installed, we're ready to install our top row of tiles. Now we're ready to start marking this tile here. Again, instead of using this as a reference point, I'm just gonna put this to one side, measure and mark out. I'm gonna take the first measurement at the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is actually reference this tile. So I've got four and a half inches, which is what I have on this side. Then I've got a six and a quarter, so I want to keep that three quarter inch gap. So I'm going to go to five and a half, and it's five and a half, five and a half inches up. So I'm going to mark up my five and a half. That's what we want to cut out right there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. We have a bunch of other videos for tile, flat tile roof installation tutorials. If we're missing something, let us know and we'd like to fill it out for you. Thanks for watching.